Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. It's Monday, so it's meal prep day. I'm really excited about this week's recipes. We have breakfast, lunch, and a dessert that is so summery so summary. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a meal prep every single Monday and I do upload five videos a week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things as well as my Facebook group are down in that description box. So we have some cooking to do three really good recipes to make, so let's jump in. For my breakfast this week, I am making chocolate protein muffins. It's really important for me to start my day off with a good bit of protein and I've been craving kind of an ooey gooey chocolate muffin. So I'm really excited to share this recipe with you. So let me show you what is in our chocolate protein muffins. First, you're going to need some salt. You guys already know I'm obsessed with these gravity fed salt and pepper shakers. I'll make sure I link them down below. They're from Amazon. They're just super, super cool and easy to use. You'll also need a cup of milk of your choice. I'm going to use carb master milk. You could also use almond milk cashew milk, I mean really any milk. You'll also need some chocolate protein powder. So I'm going to be using mine from Integrated Nutrition. I will make sure that I link this down below for you. I find that this one is really, really good for baking. The other one that I really like is Devotion Brownie Batter, but I'm out of Devotion right now. It's a little bit easier to get your hands on the Devotion, so I'll link that for you as well with 10% off. You'll also need some rolled oats, non-fat Greek yogurt, unsweetened applesauce, cocoa powder, and then peanut butter or nut butter of your choice, and you already know. You already know it's American Dream nut butter all the way for me. This is my favorite nut butter ever. It's lower points, lower calorie than other nut butters, and it's filled with good stuff like mix-ins. So this is the Mason's Caramel Hot Fudge Sunday Cashew Butter. This has nuts and caramel and fudge. It is so incredibly good. So I think this will pair really nicely with these chocolate muffins. I'll also link American Dream Nut Butter down in the description box for you with a 10% discount. Every flavor is a million out of 10. You'll also need baking powder and some eggs. So to get started on our muffins, we're going to add two cups of rolled oats, one teaspoon of baking powder, salt, two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, and three scoops of protein powder. Again, I do recommend the Devotion Brownie Batter. It's actually more affordable and easier to get your hands on. This one is really, really hard to find. I don't know if the company's no longer around. I'm not sure. I got this at the 99 cent store. It was $5.99, and it's a really good protein powder. It's just Again, really hard to find. So I will, of course, link it along with Devotion down below for you. And then we're going to mix that together really well. Now we're going to add in one half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt and two eggs. And then gently stir that together just until combined. Then we're adding one cup of milk two tablespoons of unsweetened applesauce, and this is in place of any oil. And then we're going to add one third cup of the American Dream nut butter. And we need to make sure that this gets mixed completely. I sprayed my muffin pan with some nonstick cooking spray. Now I'm scooping in my muffin mix about three quarters of the way full or to the top is you wanna just make sure you're getting 12 muffins total. Our muffins are going into a 350 degree oven for 15 to 18 minutes. I just 
pulled out the chocolate protein muffins. These smell so good. They actually smell like brownies cooking in my house. So that makes me really excited. So I plan on having one of these for breakfast. I may have some eggs with it, some fruit, but this is going to be a big source of protein for me for breakfast. So I'll go ahead and put points calories here on the screen for you. The types of muffins you can make with this recipe are endless. I mean, you just change up the protein powder and you can make a ton of different flavors. So I'm really, really excited for these. For my lunch this week, I was originally going to make a turkey ranch wrap, and then I realized that I had eaten all of my deli turkey. So I'm going to do a tuna ranch wrap and show you a really fun hack to make tuna salad a lot less points and calories. This is a great way to get in lots of protein, very low carb, really healthy lunch. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some one point low carb tortillas, feta cheese, non-fat Greek yogurt, cucumbers, ranch seasoning, a couple of cans of tuna fish, or you could do any deli meat, turkey, ham, whatever you would like, baby spinach, and a bell pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is chop up my bell pepper into thin strips and then slice up my cucumbers. So now I'm going to make up my tuna salad and I'm gonna show you a really great way, really flavorful, yummy way to make tuna fish or tuna salad that's way less points and calories and even gives you an extra bit of protein. So instead of using mayo, use non-fat Greek yogurt. You're not even going to notice the difference with the, the seasoning we're going to add. So what I have here is five ounces of non-fat Greek yogurt. Now we can always add more if we need to, but I am going to mix that in a little bit with my tuna. We're going to add one tablespoon of ranch seasoning. Now let me tell you, that is what is really going to be the game changer in this, is it's going to take the place of mayo and then we're adding in that ranch seasoning and it just adds a ton of flavor where you don't even miss the mayo but you're getting in lots of extra protein with the Greek yogurt. I think I am going to add just a little bit more maybe closer to seven ounces of the non-fat Greek yogurt. And there's our tuna salad. It tastes really, really good. And again, saving on points and calories. You could also add some diced up pickles or relish in here as well. So to assemble the wraps, it's super easy. We're going to put about three tablespoons of the tuna mixture on our wrap. And then I like to spread that down the middle. I want to stay away from the edges just because when we fold it up, I don't want all of the goodness seeping out of the edges of the wrap. And then we're going to add some baby spinach. You can do as much as you want. Again, kind of focusing that on the tuna mixture. And then I love cucumbers in my wraps for that nice added crunch. Some bell peppers. And then lastly, we're going to do one tablespoon of feta cheese. And then we're simply going to roll that up. I like to kind of roll mine up into similar to a taco shape. That way I can fill it with all the veggies and all the goodness. I just kind of eat it like a soft taco. That's gonna be my lunch for the week. I'm just going to make one up every day. I did slice up my bell peppers and my cucumbers and put them in storage containers as well as my tuna fish. And then I'll just measure out my one tablespoon of feta cheese and then top it with my spinach. I don't know what I'll have with this. Most likely some type of crunch snack like a protein puff or some chips or something with that maybe some fruit but this is packed full of protein and that tuna salad way less points and calories using the Greek yogurt and the ranch for dessert this week I am making an icebox cake I'm really excited for this there is only one, two, three, four ingredients in this recipe. It doesn't require turning on a stove, which is great for the summer months. This would be a great cookout, 
barbecue family friendly easy easy dessert recipe so let me show you the four ingredients first you're going to need graham crackers two boxes of sugar-free pudding as i mentioned in my grocery haul i wanted to do a lemon ice box cake but i cannot find sugar-free lemon or even regular lemon pudding mix anywhere so i decided to go with sugar-free banana cream a tub of light cool whip and then almond milk or milk of your choice so the first thing we're going to do is add two and a half cups of milk to a large bowl. I do wanna say that you may wanna go with Fairlife, Carb Master, or low fat milk instead of almond milk. Sometimes almond milk can be kinda of weird when trying to make pudding. And then we're going to add the two packets of sugar-free banana pudding mix. And then mix that together, whisk that together for about two minutes. And then we're going to fold in the eight ounces of whipped topping. So to a nine by 13 baking dish, we're going to take graham crackers and make a single layer on the bottom of the baking dish. So it's just about an entire pack of graham crackers. There's maybe one and a half graham crackers left. Then we're going to add half of the pudding and whipped cream mixture right on top of that first layer of graham crackers. Then we're going to add another layer of graham crackers and then add the other half of the pudding mix. So here is the icebox cake. This looks so good. Now the original recipe wants us to add a third layer, but I'm trying to keep the points decent and still have a good serving size of the icebox cake. So I'm going to stop at the two layers. This needs to go in the refrigerator for about four hours to set. Five hours later. So I just pulled out the icebox cake. It is all set. What also happens during the setting process is the graham crackers get nice and soft. So it is the perfect, perfect dessert. It's kind of hard to see the layers, even though I did use a clear baking dish, but this is going to be such a refreshing, like I said, perfect, perfect summer treat. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, and serving size here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to eat them all week long. As always, along with all of the other recipes that I've shared here on my channel, you will find them on my website, which is linked down in that description box. Along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group, don't forget to come on over, join us there. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Monday. I hope you have an amazing, amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.